Hi, I'm Kelly from Alfie's Treasures. One of the things I'm most proud of in my business is my feedback. And one of the things in my feedback that I see over and over again is great packaging. The reason for that is because we really work hard to make sure every item we send out is packaged so that it will make it to its final destination without any damage. Even if the post office should happen to drop it, step on it, or maybe throw it across the road. I mean, we work really, really hard to make sure that package doesn't get damaged. So I thought I'd share with you today some simple tips that we use when we're getting something ready to ship. And today we are shipping out a um, 1907 celluloid clock. The clock already has some existing damage. Um, it's really fragile and um, this one's a little tougher to ship, so I thought it would be a good example. So here we go. Here's the clock we're going to ship today. It's a beautiful celluloid clock. It uh, is a pendulum clock. It hangs on the shelf. But as you can see, there's already a broken piece here. There's some cracks in the sides. Um, one of the stands on the back has been broken and re-glued. So this clock is just, it's real fragile and we have to be very careful how it's packaged so it doesn't get jarred in shipping. And um, one of the wonderful things about it is it does come apart in three pieces, therefore we're going to ship it in three pieces. So what I've got are three separate boxes, a piece of cardboard, and bubble wrap. And we're going to use a couple other things as well. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to disassemble the clock carefully. Taking care not to lose the pieces. Okay, it looks like the ring wants to stay on. That's fine. So we're going to deal with the face part first. Really good idea to make sure that this the face does not get scratched. So I'm going to take the face and just lay it face down. It does have a wind-up mechanism on the back and it does not flip down. So we have to be careful that we don't um, let that poke through the, um, the bubble wrap. Now this top piece can easily get broken off. So we are going to we're going to double box this whole system, or this whole uh, packaging. We're going to wrap this up and then we're going to put it in a box which is going to end up in another box. I don't want this getting jarred around at all. So I just wrap this up one time and tape it with a little piece of tape. Don't need much. And remember, the bottom also has a point. I mean, we just, this is so fresh. I just want to make sure that everything is gently covered with the first layer. I like the big bubble wrap. It has a lot of air in it, and it's really good for making sure that um, everything has protection. So as you can see, there's our first layer. Okay. Now we're going to put it in this box. And again, I'm just going to use bubble wrap. I'm not going to use any packing peanuts in this today. And I'm not going to scrimp either. I'm, the, the customer's already paid for this. I included shipping with this item. And yes, I did already make sure this item would fit in the box, which is also important. And see, with the bubble wrap, it fits fine. It's not touching the sides in any way. It's not going to move around and I'm just tucking the bubble wrap in. Now I'm going to take one more piece, I'm going to place it on the top and tuck around the sides. I'm not going to touch the clock while I'm doing this. I'm just barely pressing it in there. Once everything's secure, I'm just going to add a piece of tape and tape this box shut. So that's that piece. Set that aside. Now this box I did make. Um, I wanted it to fit in our bigger box, so I need, needed to make sure I could find one that would fit in the bigger box and also that the base would fit in. Now remember, like I said before, there's some cracks inside this. These pieces already 
to break off. This one has been repaired. If we were just to wrap this in bubble wrap and lay it in here, there's still a chance this would break. We're gonna treat this one a little bit differently. And what I like to do is I actually like to wrap it and secure it to a piece of cardboard. So there's just no chance that anything could happen to it. So I've already cut the cardboard to the size of the inside of the box so it'll fit in there securely. And I lay bubble wrap. A piece of bubble wrap should be about the same size as the piece of cardboard. I lay it with the bubble side up. I want cushioning for this, especially since I couldn't get the ring off. And I'm not gonna force it. This is just, again, it, it's too fragile. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an, another piece of bubble wrap and lay it on top, bubble side down. And in a moment, we're gonna go over to the wrapping. Hold on one second. What I have here is restaurant grade saran wrap. I love this stuff. And I have a work table here. It's actually an old solid core door that we've mounted to a really strong table base. This is a child's um, window curtain rod. And we just put some eye bolts in and slid this through and put the saran wrap on it. Underneath it is a piece of poster board. It just helps keep things clean and things sliding because this is just, like I said, a painted um, door. So anyway, all I do is I roll out a piece of saran wrap like that. I'm gonna lay this on it. And then while holding that, I'm just gonna pull this back over my item, making sure it stays centered on the cardboard. And just pick the whole thing up. Spin it around once. Spin it around again, pull the sides out, do it one more time. And I'm stick my finger in the middle of the saran wrap. Oops, not too far. Just tear it off. It's inexpensive. You can get it at um, Costco. You can get it at Cash and Carry if you have one near you. Um, I tend to get the larger roll. Nothing special, but it secures it in place and makes sure that it's staying exactly where you want it. I didn't use any force at all when wrapping it, because again, I don't want these little holes, these little um, edges to bend or anything. I just want this thing secured down so that nothing can happen to it. Okay, let's go back over to our shipping table. Okay, we're back at our shipping table. Okay. This item um, is now ready to go in the box. And I grabbed a couple more pieces of bubble wrap because I was almost out. And I just want to wrap this one more time around the long end just to give it one more sense of security so that nothing can happen. And just one wrap should do it. Because as you'll see, this isn't even going to touch, the item is not going to even touch the box. cardboard's going to touch the box. So I'm going to go ahead and push this down into the box. And I'm going to take the box shut. be wondering why the box has writing on it. Actually, I was able to get boxes from a company that went out of business, and they're all brand new. It's just they have their name on them and their address, so I just use the biggest Sharpie I've ever seen, and I'm able to just mark it out. So now all I need to do is pack these two boxes inside. Put 
cushioning in there on top. And my yellow invoice with my thank you written on it. I like to do that so that if something should happen to the label or the box, um, the post office will, will know where it came from. So once everything is inside, all that's left now is to close it all up and get it shipped out. Well, that's all there is to it.